Okay, for our fourth series of videos for our studio, we're going to discuss how to assess categorical variables or dichotomous variables. So those terms may not necessarily be very exciting or sound much to you, but there are situations in public health where the outcome of interest is whether somebody's done something or not. Like, have they used e-cigarettes or not in the last 30 days? Or it could be something like, have they got sick in the last 30 days or not? Have they died in the last 30 days or not? Or have they ever, you know, who died and who didn't die? Who's lived and who hasn't died? Those are like yes, no outcomes. So how do we assess those types of things? So we may look at the frequency of one group versus another group. So we're gonna focus on frequencies. Now, I'll give you guys this website here, the statmethods.net. It uses some RStudio commands that are available uh, for your use. Um, so the data set that we've got that you can assess using a lot more frequency type stuff is this new eSig data set. So there's a lot of times when you do survey research when you're getting yes, no, or A, B, C, D, or they're strongly agree or strongly disagree type stuff, you can actually assess it kind of using, you know, frequencies. What's the frequency of responding to whatever? So you'll want to attach um, the new eSig data set that if you haven't already downloaded it previously and still don't have it, you'll want to attach that. And then here's the, um, you know, the data set up here. So you see a lot of zeros and ones, zero being no, one being yes. And we're going to discuss this a good bit further here. Now, one of the things you may be interested in doing is like looking at something like well, what's the frequency of e-cigarette use in the last 30 days? So you can just set, you know, you can create whatever table you want. You can call, you know, it's, it's whatever table you want, but you'll give it a name. So, so you'll give it a name. You can call it e-cig table if you would like. And then what goes into it? Well then, so e-cig table is saying, create something that's called this. So what's going to be called? I want to create a table, so table's the command, and then if I want to do eSig in the last 30 days, there it is. So it's created this table. And then if I want to see what's in that table, so it just made it, and you may actually up in one of these, like in your environment type area, you may see like a table gets created somewhere if you were, you know, looking at it was made somewhere in there. A sig table, it made it right there. And it tells me the numbers right there. All right, so I created this e sig table. I can type out e sig table right there after I've created it, and then it tells me zero and one. Zero being 773. Maybe, I don't know if I can zoom in any on this so you can see more clearly. Zero is 773, one is 234. Now. That table, though, is like for the whole survey. If you remember, this project also had like survey year. So we may be interested in like the year effect. So I could do eSig 30 days, or well, no, I need, I want to create a new table. We'll just call it, you know, you know, new table. We can call it whatever we want. And then what are we going to do? We want to make a table that will have E sig 30 days comma year and when we do that it just created something called new table that's going to give us e cigarette 30 days by year now when I just type in new table there we are we can see the frequencies here's the percentage of people that were e cigarette used or not percentage the true numbers for those years now you may also realize though that you have some missing data so you may also have to then tell it something like um, I think it's a uh, exclude I put comma exclude null if I would do that so I've replaced my old new table with this one so I can call it new table and now you see we have 15 people in 2014 who did the survey who did not answer that question we have 24 in 2018 who did not answer that question. But if I use our previous um, 
you know, uh, command here, it won't include, it'll, it'll omit those um, so that we just got the new table information now. It's pretty easy to use, but you may also be interested in doing the percentages. So rather than you doing 412 plus 361 equals something and then taking the 412 divided by that, you can tell it to go ahead and make the proportion. So you can tell it to do um, prop dot table parentheses and then um, we'll do eat, what do we just call this one? New table, so new table. And that will give us the parentheses of, or the proportions of everything adding up to one. That's not our one, you know, 100% or one. That's not as helpful though as prop.table parentheses, new table, comma one and comma two. So we'll do comma one first. So when I do comma one, what is the comma one doing? Well, it's giving me the rows here. And this isn't really as important either for this particular question that you might be interested in. So what is this saying? It's saying that of all the e-cigarette users, here they are, number one, that we've gotten our entire survey data set, 60% of the ones that we captured in our survey were in 2018, and 39% were in 2014. That's not particularly helpful. If you had a research question that said, um, what's the effect of the year on e-cigarette use, you'd probably want to compare year versus year. So instead, you may want to look at the columns. So here, when we look at the columns, we can see in 2014, now we're seeing it adding up, up and down by column. So in 2014, 81.5% had not used an e-cigarette in the last 30 days, whereas 18.4% had used an e-cigarette in the last 13 days. And then here for 2018, we see 72% had not, 28.1% had. So we see a 10% increase year to year, or you know, from 2014 to 2018, and people who had recently used an e-cigarette or used an e-cigarette in the last 30 days. So that's one way you may look at it. You may create another table that compares um, other factors. You can even create a table that has uh, like three layers to it as well. So um, by just adding an extra comma. So that's a little bit on creating these uh, frequency tables. Again, um, when, when you create these tables, usually when you assess the percentages, new table one or new table two or whatever you call the table um, will be important. So again, you don't have to call it new table. We could call it whatever. Um, ESIG table by year could be a big mouthful. And then what would be the command um, to create that table? You have to still tell it make a table. And then it would be ESIG 30 days comma year and that's our command. And then when we want to look at that table, we can just actually type in eSig table by year. There's our table. If we want to look at it with the um, percentages, we could do that by doing the prop dot table and then eSig table by year, comma, you know, whatever. Two. There it is. So that's just a little bit on frequency tables. Pretty easy stuff. Um, very helpful for building a, a, um, a table for a, a paper where you're going to describe something about the characteristics of the people in your study. So we'll stop this video here.